let's unbox this Lensgo lavalier wireless microphone. I am looking for a good wireless mic that is going to be good for vlogging. So is this going to be it? Well, let's find out. First, I want you to click the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and make sure you click that little bell to get all of the notifications about our product reviews and our travel videos and more. So get that little bell. But on this, I want a wireless lavalier microphone that's got good sound and the reviews that I looked at indicate that this is going to be good for vloggers. So the price point was right. It was a cheap microphone as, as far as, you know, recording equipment is concerned. So let's open it up and try her out. I'm unboxing the Lensgo LWM318C lavalier wireless microphone. We're going to be doing a sound comparison in just a couple of minutes toward the end of the video. I just want you to see what's in the package right now. And we're going to go over all the parts and what they do in just a minute. Now, this is compatible with SLR cameras, mobile phones, camcorders, and other recording equipment for up to 50 meters. Now, that's about 54 yards. Hey, listen up. If you vlog, I would love to hear about your equipment. Do you use a lapel microphone, a lavalier? Drop that down in the comments below. I'm looking for a lightweight microphone set that's going to be quick to put on and provide good sound quality. We've unboxed it. Now let's give it a whirl and see how it performs. I've laid out the components. Now I'll take a look at what each one of them is and does. I'm going to start with the easy one. It's the storage bag. Next! We have the transmitter and receiver. The backs of these are the same. There's a clip and a magnetic fastener. So let's talk about this one first, which is the receiver. Now on the back of this, you'll see where it says RX. R is for receive. And again, it just fastens with the magnetic or the clip um, on the front, on the top. You've got a single hole here, and that is for this piece, which is the phone cable. And that plugs into your phone and your receiver. One end in the receiver, one end where your microphone jack is on your cell phone. This one is the transmitter. On the back, underneath the magnetic tag, you will see a TX. It also has the magnetic fastener on the back. This way, you've got two a couple of options here for wearing it on your clothes. One is just clip it as you would any other clip item onto your jacket or your collar. But if you're in a situation and you can't do that, and you actually need to wear it um, with a shirt, putting this under your shirt and this on top, you can. I'm going to borrow this bag back and I'm just going to show you that you can wear it clipped on just like so. You would just put your article of clothing there where the bag is. This piece will accommodate a couple of different things here. We have this, which is often referred to in theater as a dead cat. It's also just called a windscreen, and that goes on the end of this, your transmitter. So you've got the microphone right here, and what you would do on a windy day is you would take this, the dead cat, and just slip it over the top of the microphone like so. This enables the microphone to pick up your voice without picking up the wind. But there may be a time where you want to pair it up with an external microphone, which mm -hmm. they have included right here. This is an external microphone. And this goes with this little bag of goodies. I'm gonna slip this out of the way just a little bit.
You have a foam cover for this mic, also helps with wind um, and reduces a pop factor with your voice. There is a clip, a lapel clip, and your reset pin. Looks kind of like a tuning fork. Just simply put the microphone into the cover. Now you may have to, whoops, you may have to pull the cover around a little bit with your fingers. That's fine because you want it to fit firmly. Just don't pull on it so much that you break it because you can do that. But you want it to fit snugly, just like so. We would have the lapel clip right here, which for this, you would clip it onto your collar or clothing. It snaps on just like that. And once this is complete, you would just slip it into your transmitter, just like so. Now, if something comes up and the transmitter and receiver come unpaired, then you would simply use this, the reset, and put it in a little tiny hole right there on the side. And since it's magnetic, that grabs. All right, setting these aside. You are gonna have to keep these charged up. And so for that, they have included two USB cords on the side of the units. You can see where the USB cords go when you're charging. The two little slots right there just like a cell phone slot. There's a couple of ways that you can wear this. Um, that is, you can clip it directly onto your clothes or use the magnetic piece, or here's a lanyard. So if you want to wear it on a lanyard, they have included that. This will go into the receiver just like so the other end will fit to the microphone part of your camera. They also included this magnet. So if you want to mount one of these pieces permanently, you can remove the sticker on your magnet, mount it somewhere, and then you can mount one of the other pieces on permanently. We've unboxed it. And now we're gonna test the sound. And I am talking to you with this on, looking into my cell phone, testing the sound with this new Lensco microphone, hoping that the sound is good. So I'm just gonna recite my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we're gonna take this off and turn it off and compare the sound. I'm plugging it from the cell phone. And now what's the sound like? You can tell me. Leave all that in the comments below. Now I'm about 25 feet away from my cell phone. I'm in a room where there's a lot of echo, so this should give a really good comparison of the sound quality. Now we're gonna unplug the microphone and make it go away. I'm gonna turn this one off. how the sound is. This is the after, and you just heard the before. So, what do you think? Could you tell any difference? Drop that in the comments down below, because the way I'm going to determine if this is or is not a good microphone for vlogging is going to be your feedback. So this has been the unboxing and first impression sound comparison on the LensGo LWM 318C lapel lavalier microphone. Now remember, on this channel, it's more than travel and product reviews. We are all about hashtag 
be bodacious, which means you're not going to let life get in the way of living. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing this with your friends on social media. My social media links for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are down below. So do come and join us on our Facebook group and be part of the fun that's going on over there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.